Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is taking his time letting go of coach Jason Garrett. It's contrary to how he fired the most beloved coach in the team's history, Tom Landry. He announced the firing on his first day as owner back in February 25th, 1989. Charles Searcy says he stopped being a fan that day, says it hit him hard. He should have retired him with fanfare, uh, give him the honor he deserves, uh, not, not just letting him go like, like he would a water boy. Several years after the firing, I sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Coach Landry. After they had bought the club, then that's when Jerry Jones came down here to Austin. I was down here for my daughter's birthday and so on and, and wanted to tell me personally. Fans were outraged, but Coach Landry says he knew it was time to go. Most people think, thought I was angry as they were. But for me personally, uh, you know, it was something that I was planning to do anyway, was move out of football. Jones wanted to win championships, so he brought in Jimmy Johnson, who won two Super Bowls. They had a right to do that, and they wanted to move all management out, wanted to move me out, all most of the players out, too. And they did it, and they were successful. So you have to give them credit for that. That's why many fans are scratching their heads, wondering why it's taken Jones so long to get rid of a coach who has only won two playoff games in nine years and never taken the team to the NFC Championship game. I would just call him to the office and say, you're fired. Coach Landry went on to focus on his faith and family and serving his community until his death in 2000. It's unclear what Jason Garrett's future holds, but if he takes a page from Landry's playbook, he will handle it with grace. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.